Good morning. We Today we're going to make a really cheap and easy chicken stir fry. So I've chopped up some of the chicken, um, just a mini fillet. Sometimes you can do that, it's cheaper just to get one fillet by itself. If you cut meat into smaller pieces, it will go further. So um, it's a nice way to bulk out recipes and feed uh, longer, uh, larger families. So I'm just cutting those into little cubes. We're gonna have protein and we're going to have um, some vegetable selection, but it's not going to take more than five minutes. Okay, so I've just handled raw meat, so I'm gonna put all of this into the sink, wash my hands, use a separate towel, and then to make this more interesting, I'm going to get one of these cheap sachet sauces and I'm going to cover the chicken with that. That will let it marinate for a couple of um, minutes before we fry it off. Okay, so we'll give that a quick stir. Being aware not to touch any raw meat with your hands because you've just washed them. So just coat that chicken. That can go straight into the sink now. Um, one of the other things um, you do to make a nice, cheap and tasty meal is sometimes use reduced vegetables or frozen vegetables. They're brilliant because you don't waste anything and um, it's easy to um, control your portion size. So these were from a veg pack that was reduced you can get them for 20p. Some of the vegetables had turned, but the broccoli was absolutely fine. If in doubt, have a nibble, sniff it. I think that's what the government's saying now, so we don't have so much food waste. Again, like the chicken, I'm just going to chop it up into small florets. And if you've got children that don't like broccoli, you can just chop it even more, and then it gets blended by a sauce. So there you go. Um, stir fries are really good, not only because they're cheap and easy to do, um, but if you're going to use noodles, you can get the ready to wok ones, which tend to be more expensive. Um, but the dry noodles, which are just as good, just pop them into a pan of boiling water. And I think we're going to do that for three, so I would use one block per person um, and you can have the gluten free ones as well. I've not used this with meat so I'll give that a bit of a stir just to loosen the noodles off and they will only take a couple of minutes to, to cook. So got the wok nice and hot. I'm going to just add a dash of oil. You can use um, the spray light as well, uh, but with the with the chicken you're going to need um, something to, to coat it so it doesn't stick. Wait for it to be nice and hot, I'm just going to turn that up a little bit more. And then pop the chicken in. Now that didn't sizzle, so it needs to be up a bit more. And the important thing when you are cooking with chicken is make sure that it is cooked all the way through. One of the benefits of cutting up smaller is that it will cook quicker. But for those cube sizes, um, I would probably say a good few minutes. Chicken has browned off quite nicely here. One of the things I do to check that it's gone right through is I just poke it through and you can see that um, the chicken breast has white all the way through so that's cooked and they're nicely coated so we can go in now the um, broccoli might take a bit longer so we'll stir that in and then we will put um, one of these stir fries they're part of a three pound meal deal really easy we've got some good things in there yellow pepper um, we've got white cabbage, um, green cabbage, bean sprouts, carrots, all things that are fairly sweet and quite um, children will like, especially for covering a sauce. 
just pop them in there, give that a stir. Now at this point, um, whilst you're frying off the vegetables, you can put a dash of soy sauce, this one was reduced. Um, soy sauce stays fresh for ages, doesn't really, it won't go off for years. So put that in. If you haven't got any sauces, the top tip is you can actually use brown sauce. So if you've got any HP or daddies, that's got molasses, uh, cloves in, it's all fairly similar. So you can put that in your stir fry. So, looks like our noodles are ready. They're nice and soft. So I'm going to drain those. They're nice and soft, a lot cheaper than the um, the other ones that you can buy that are straight to wok. We'll put that on there. And then we're going to combine that in with the vegetables. Get that last noodle in. And they'll start to absorb some of that sauce. And it's still a bit dry. The meat is marinated and the vegetables are wilting. So part of this meal deal that you can get in most supermarkets is you get a stir fry sauce. Like I said, you can use um, just soy sauce if you want to, um, or if you've got a tub of sweet chilli sauce, or even brown sauce. So we're going to put that in. And we've boxed that out now with the extra vegetables and with the meat, but you can do it without meat if you want it even cheaper. So you can feed a family of three for a pound each and you're getting at least two portions of your five a day. If you add meat, you've got your protein in there. Just mix that all up. Of course, if you've got a wok on the stove, you can flip it. But you can't with this electric one. So it's a case of just stirring it in, getting all those vegetables in the noodles. It doesn't take long to cook those vegetables and you don't want to overcook them because then they'll lose all their nutrients. So that's pretty much done. And we'll put that in a bowl. Okay, and there's the finished article. Um, you've got plenty of chicken. Uh, it's really, really tasty. The kids should love it. It's easy to eat and it costs less than a pound per person. Um, and it's really good for you. So enjoy.